Hi everyone, this is Bree from Let's Talk Teens and today's how-to tip is talking about how to set up Google safety nets in searching and filters on Safari. So what we're going to do is first go to Safari but you want to quit out of your last session. Um, it's a lot easier, there's other ways to do it but it's a lot easier just to start fresh because the buttons pop up. Go to your Safari settings and you'll see that there's my Google because that's set as my home page. At the bottom right, just like you're doing it on Google Chrome if you saw that video, so this is very similar, you're gonna go to settings at the bottom right. I'm signed in here, so you'll wanna sign in to your child's account and then you're gonna go to search settings and boom, there it is. <laughs> right here, turn on safety search and then don't forget the lock safe search okay so when the lock safe search shows up you have to verify your information don't look at my password okay lock safe searches locking safe searches sets safe search to use strict filters yes lock safe search boom now you're gonna have this little bubble friend right here. That is your friend. So if your child's doing homework or whatnot and they're Googling, you don't see this pop up, then somehow the settings have been disabled and that's kind of a red flag. You can check that out. And what this does is when you go back to Google, let's see, let's go back to Google and Safari here, back to search settings. And then we are going to go right to Google Okay, so now that you have your privacy settings set up, when you Google something, um, let's just Google Let's Talk Teens. Why don't we, right? <laughs> when you Google Let's Talk Teens, your search will show up right here, safe search lock. So it should be filtering more intensely uh, your child searches, but I have to tell you and have to warn you that I did a few experiments and unfortunately it doesn't, it's basically what the internet thinks is okay and is a safe search. And so uh, I just wanna warn all of you that you still may find yourself stumbling upon content that you don't want your child to stumble upon and that's why it's really, really important to set up the safety nets that, um, that all the safety nets that are there so that you know if one fails and there's another one to catch your child so on the device itself going into for example here on this Mac you want to go to system preferences and then you want to go in and set up the safeties on this itself the parental controls are right here and there's a how-to video at letstalkteens.com that explains more about how you can set up device settings as well in the workshop that you can find at letstalkteens.com slash workshop so you can get all the information you know to make sure that you're not just putting up one safety net and trusting that it's going to work but that you do multiple so when one fails the next is there to, ch to catch your child. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us on this how-to video. I hope it helps. Please leave a comment and uh, share to help other parents because we're in this together. This is a brand new world that we're navigating and we need each other to support one another and help each other out. So uh, make sure you leave a comment, follow us on all of our social medias. We'd love to stay connected with you and we'll see you next time.